All right, you guys, so today we're talking jump rope. We're talking double unders, okay? Um, this is one of the coolest skills. Once you get it down, you'll be like, oh man, this is really cool. So think about you lifting yourself up multiple times, 100, 200, 300 times, okay? So to start out with the jump rope, really simply, what we want you to do is just be able to get your hands like this. Once you can do this, okay, and then hopefully you can see my wrist is moving, okay, not my elbow, so this is, this is more effort because this takes, this is a longer lever, this is heavier, okay, my wrist can make faster circles than what my elbow can do. Um, and even more exhausting is doing this. I see some of people do all this. This is very exhausting for the shoulders, okay, so it's inefficient. So the most efficient way to do it is to learn how to do the wrists. And this simple movement here is a great one minute warm up that you guys would be working on, okay? So after that, it's about the, the hop or the jump. And the jump needs to be just enough in a single under or traditional jump rope to get the rope underneath your feet, okay? When you're doing this, you're gonna be bounding, bounding on your toes, okay? Bounding, 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 okay? Some people you'll see when they do their kicks, they lift their feet forward. I think this is inefficient only because you have a longer lever. So I can do this with my toes or I can do this with my leg, okay? A lot more movement, a heavier weight, meaning my whole leg versus just my toes, okay? So let's go over some practice. So where do you start? You start with single unders or regular jump rope, as some people would uh, refer to it. Okay, um, let's talk a little jump rope height. What you wanna do is step on your jump rope. It should come up, the the, uh, the rope itself should come up near your armpits, but that's not the only way to do it. Um, some people like their rope a little bit longer, some people like their rope a little bit shorter. Um, I kind of like my rope a little bit lower than my, my armpits. Um, so you might have to adjust once you get it at your armpits. You might have to adjust your screws. The screws to achieve the jump rope height that you are looking for. Okay. Good job, y'all. Where are we at? Awesome. Uh, we got about six minutes left. All right, cool. So, again, jump rope. Okay, now, once I feel like I've achieved 100 reps, I can do 100 reps. The reason why we say 100 reps is because once you go to what we're going to do next is tall jumps, that's going to take your body weight times two because you need that much more height. So, if I jump off the ground an inch with my body weight, I've in essence jumped 200 pounds per inch. Now, when I jump 200 pounds times two inches, now you're looking at the force of 400 inch pounds per jump. Well, that just made me a lot heavier and it made my cast, if I'm doing it that way, work harder. So. The next thing is to work on the tall jump, okay? So the tall jump is slower and bigger, okay? In essence, I'm jumping the maximal height I can jump. So in my case, I think I jump maybe almost three inches, two and a half, three inches. So I take that, multiply it times my weight. That gives me a force per inch, okay? Force per inch, which is, um, in regular, in uh, automotive terms, we, they make it foot pounds, okay? So then you take how many pounds, how many feet, yada, 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 that tells you your force, your, your torque. And so really that's what you're creating is torque, okay? So, again, once I can do 100 singles, now this is gonna change, I'm only gonna be do it, able to be able to do about 25 tall jumps with my 
100 single unders. Okay, so single, tall jumps, tall singles. Once I get the tall jumps down, now I have to learn how to get the rope underneath my feet twice. And that is your jump rope. Carly, your time was 23 flat. Yep. Okay, so that is your jump rope.